YouTube. This is Mario17 with another Let's Play. This time we're going to be doing Total War Attila. Of course, the Total War Radius right here. So we'll be using the Radius mod, and I will uh, explain why here in a little bit. For those of you who don't know or have not played the game, and this is a whole lot of fun, uh, but it, uh, it was not that great when it first came out. And we'll get into some of that as we start. And basically, we have to choose who we're going to run the campaign with. And I thought about doing the Franks. Um, they are fun. I have tried them several times. And you wind up fighting a lot of England and a lot of uh, uh, Rome over here. And and I may do another campaign with the Franks because they are fun. But to start with, I really do like playing the Geats. Partly because of this cold blood. The cold does not affect them. And we get immediately defense of plus three for all forces. And we get uh, plus 50% from sacking, looting, raiding, and negative 5% recruitment cost for all forces. That is very nice. And I haven't done a whole lot of sacking and looting yet, but this time in this game I do want to plan to sack and loot uh, England somewhat. And maybe along the Russian coast over here as well. Uh, we'll see. But without further ado. And I've got it on normal. Um, I do not have it on extremely hard because I do not play aggressively nor do I min max or any of that kind of stuff I try and play and have fun and and be realistic about it so that's why I don't play on the harder uh, settings so without further ado we'll begin and part of the reason why um, I did not play when it first came out even though I did have it when it first came out was uh, well the very first thing that was wrong with the battles happened so fast you get know, all your men line up they'd clash together you'd start to move something before you even get done with the first movement Everybody was retreating and running away. And so that worked okay for the whole active retreat, shock troop type stuff, but overall it made the battles just ridiculous. So I didn't like that. The other thing I did not like is uh, most of these countries you start off, you're a single uh, province country, so you're very poor at most. You might have two if you capture your neighbor. And you're trying to make your way in the world. And while you're trying to make your way in the world, the neighbor next to you who you want to conquer or are defending against has one province as well. And his one province, though, he manages to pull out one and a half to two and a half stacks of people while you're struggling to produce half a stack. And he continually attacks you over and over, and it was really, really dumb. And I played around a little bit now with the Radius mod, and it seems to have fixed that to an extent. Um, I also have another mod in here that helps with overall happiness, so you don't have to have your people shoved into every single city that you own which became tedious so I skipped that little video uh, if you want to watch the video buy the game and, and play it I've seen it far too many times so chapter one preparation they made ready for war and it says survive until the following date spring of 400 so that should be two hearts 395 and then if we do that we'll receive 2000 into our treasury so Here's our raiding fleet, which is not a whole lot. We're going to go ahead and dock them. And we're going to recruit right off the bat for our raiding fleet because these guys are pretty important uh, for helping us to be able early on to conquer things. So we have to make decisions right off the bat. First thing we do is we're going to our technology tree and we're going to start grabbing our military stuff. We have to make a decision. Are we going to be friends? with the Danes and the Jutes and use them as a buffer and go raiding and attacking other countries or and we have a trade agreement with the uh, uh, Rugianos over here Rugians sorry and so we're gonna keep that for now which means we can raid over here uh, we can go up here and settle uh, which would not be very hard and we can also raid England if we want and keep friends with these guys uh, right now, we'll look at the political arena here. The Danes somewhat like us. They're not overly uh, happy with us. Uh, main thing is because we have a treaty with the Rugians and they're at war with the Rugians. So, they're also at war with the Veri uh, Verinians. Now, if we don't attack the Danes and destroy them, one of these two will probably attack and destroy them. So, and our trade agreement helps us bring a lot of money. The Jutes, they do like us. Um, so far, they are still a little bit upset about us raiding and blocking, blockading the Danes, which we did not do. It happened before we took over. So this relationship eventually goes up, and we can actually ask them for a trade agreement fairly early on. And they seem to be 
usually pretty successful with that. There we go. So now we have a trade agreement with them. That will increase our relationship quite a bit. And there we go. So our choice really becomes, what do we do? If we attack the Danes, we're immediately going to be attacked by usually one or two of these uh, other countries down here. The one that usually winds up biting me, for some reason, is the Angles. The Angles, for some reason, no matter what I seem to do in here, has a tendency to backbite me. So if I take over this, I have a tendency to surprise attack me. So we'll see what happens. I think I'm interested in trying to take over northern England. Use these two as a buffer. Keep them propped up as best I can and take over this part of England and settle over here where this diamond mine is. The quicker I can settle that, the quicker I can get gemstones. Um, we could send a fleet over there, get that settled. That's what the raiding fleet could do. Get that thing settled uh, right off the bat. Not a bad option. Or put a small group together. Send my uh, son over. So I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking for now. So let's go into our family tree here. And we need to set up some people. Set him up as a companion. Set him up as a companion. These are both my sons. This is the prince though. Crown prince. Set him up as a companion. And him up as a companion. And let's set up our governor. And... We'll use this guy, he's fine. As our governor. And I think that's all we can do for now. I believe we can set up an edict here, which we're immediately going to go plus one for all recruit experience, plus two for military development, faction wide. So we're going to go for that early on. And let's send. He's got a halfway decent force. He's got a small force. Let's leave. Um. One of his archers, one of his spearmen here, and then let's put him on the road towards that development. And we will go and settle that, and then we can immediately start building here. And if we build this, we can build axe warriors. That provides us with uh, warriors. Sammy Hunters and Bow, so we need to do this one first. So we'll do that, and that should be our first turn. Like I said, let's let's make friends with the Danes here. Let's offer them a trade agreement, which they seem to want. So there we go, and that's really going to help our us provide a nice barrier here. Like I said, I like to spread out, have this be a base, own this own this, begin to put pressure here, and I can sweep in this way. So we'll see what happens. Let's end the turn, and we'll go from there. So yeah, part of the reason why I waited for the mods to come out, uh, the other thing I really didn't like was the fact that when the game came out, there was no modding community available because they didn't have the workshop available. And one of the reasons why I love the Total War games is the workshop. I like to get the game exactly how I want it. And so I think that is important. All right. So the Rugians, you are honorable, worthy, and strong. Yes, we are. And only fools would not wish to be friends with you. Yes, of course. Now, they want a military alliance, and but they do not like the Danes. So, even though I have a non-aggression pact, I don't have a military. Oh, I have military access and trade. So, no, I'm not going to become your ally because I want to keep those two as my friends. And if I became his ally, well, the Danes would not like me too well. So... And the Varinians have been destroyed right off the bat. My guys have been appointed, so that's good. The Varinians were destroyed. Well, there you go. That's the first time in playing this I've seen the Danes pop down here and do that, so that's good. Uh, if we stay friends with them, they'll be able to hopefully provide us with a nice security blanket there. So then maybe we can get up there and take that over. And now that we have our raiding fleet, it's looking a little bit better. How's my income? Uh, let's see, 41 and 19, so I'm going to add just a little bit more to my raiding party. And we're going to add another two and then a bow. And then I'm also going to add the, the onager one too, because just, you know, because I can. And then we're going to go raid 
over here. Let's see what we can't take out. So the Jutes are heading down sea as well. With us as their back and being friendly, they're more likely to do stuff too. So we'll see what happens here. All right. And I, I could develop, but right now I need to just wait and not spend all my money every single turn. Although, Nordic Mounted Raiders, which I need, I need, to, I need the horses, so let's get pastures going here. Because we are cavalry, ca cavalry, <laughs> cavalry weak. So we're going to need some cavalry here in order to be able to deal with some of these forces that are going to come against us down the road. Cavalry is very important in this game, being able to outflank so many of these archers and skirmishers. Not to mention run down forces once they're once they run, I want to be able to run them down. All right, and I don't click on all those messages, so I do apologize. I mean, we had uh, an Achilles gain for our leader. He now feels a good dance deep inside yourself. Now match him. So his battle movement speed is 10%. His armor, though, is negative 15%. So his entire commanded force. That's not good, but his melee attack is up, so I actually don't really like that trade at all. And we completed that research. So now we're going to do the upkeep, negative 10% for our melee units, which we like. And he's getting closer to getting up there. It's usually a race to get up there. Okay, so my sanitation is already not good. Got to keep up with the sanitation here. And I really wanted to make another thing there, but I guess I'm going to have to make a well, huh? Or what is it, a granary? It's a granary uh, sanitation. And we'll get food, so. Okay. I don't know how much of a raiding force this is going to be. I don't have a whole lot of experience doing this. So we're going to try it. I know that you can't go straight across or you'll men will die. So you kind of got to go around the coast here. So we'll try that. See what happens. And let's see what he... Yeah, see, he doesn't really need anybody. Our income was... 19, our 41, and our expenses are 22, so not horrible. All right, we need that second settlement, so we'll end the turn here and see if we can't get over there and take over that settlement. Maybe our son will become exchanged and make his own kingdom over there, who knows? Rebel. Hopefully I'll get a fight in this first uh, episode, we'll see. We shall see. Got to keep these things somewhat short, though. Otherwise, they'll take forever to upload. My upload speed is not very fast. No, he's not going to make it this time. But he will make it next time. So we have the woodcarver now. And we encounter the Venetians, wherever they are. Must be over there. Yeah, because those are all the Rugians. So oh, they might be on this side. Okay, so now we can recruit these uh, Nordics at Nordic Axe Warband. I thought I picked the one that. Oh yeah, I did that because I had to have the bows. Yeah, so these bowmen here are okay, um, but there's another bowman that we can get, and they are the Sami Hunters. This is a radius unit, and they're better for shooting because they have higher ammunition so we're going to get two of those and we're going to get rid of two of these over there and then we'll get rid of these two next well we might as well just get rid of them now right yeah get rid of them now yep and then we'll get three of these bowmen that's really all we're going to need for now and uh, I think for now we're okay on that we don't need a ton of forces here all right we have to continue around and you can see the little cross skull and crossbow in there if you go there, you'll you'll die. So now our options are: if we raid over here, we can raid right here in what is could be considered southern London and raid the Western Roman Empire, hmm. which is a very tempting target since there's nobody there. So even though it's kind of poor, I think if we raid there, that would be pretty good. These guys definitely look like they have probably a little bit more money. We'll see. 
So I think we'll just raid there, try it, see how it works. I think, if I remember correctly, you can't. I don't know if you can go directly into that or not. We'll have to see. But we'll try it. And then if that works out well, we'll pop up, come hit London. Kind of like that Viking show. So let's end the turn, and then I think what we'll do is we'll stop this episode and get ready to do episode number two, where we'll do our rating. We're ready to go. What are the gains Gi Danes want? No warrior like standing alone in the battle. Should we not be sword brothers and watch each other? All right, so they want a defensive alliance. So that could drag us into wars, and it would really miss make the Rugians mad. And I don't want to make them mad right now because we're relying on their trade income. So we want to stay fairly neutral in this and say no for now. The Jutes are out on the sea as well. Notice they get seasick. We don't. They have troops on there, that's why. I think our troops get seasick too, if I remember correctly. But these raiding parties don't. But the problem is, is these are very small. Uh, that makes it kind of tough. Alright, so I think we can go right in there. So I'm going to go right there. And let's see if we can just take over this town here before anybody else. Boom. So we want to... Uh-oh. Oh, we don't have enough money. So Okay, so let's just let's hang out there. Let's save up the money and we'll do it. And we'll call nice. So... How much is my... So I'm getting in 2200 That's That's not bad. When I raid, I'll get some more money. So I really need that to come into play so we can get rid of this mess here. Okay, so we're going to stop this video here. And uh, I will pick up the next video where we will raid into southern England and begin to save up money so we can take over this gem mine over here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave comments below if you've got a particular plan of action you'd like us to consider. and Think about maybe doing it. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.